Onkyo TX, NR6097.2 Channel Network THX Certified A-V Receiver, Discontinued by Manufacturer. One hundred watts per channel at eight ohms, twenty HZ two zero KHZ C zero point zero eight percent C two channels driven FTC, one hundred and twenty five watts per channel at six ohms, one KHZ C zero point one percent C two channels driven FTC, six HDMI inputs and one output C HDMI support for three DC audio return channel. Deep Color X dot V dot Color Clip S Y N C C Dolby True and DT's HD Master Audio DVD Audio Direct Digital Connection of iPod slash iPhone via Front Panel USB Port Network Capability THX Select 2 Plus Power Requirements AC 120 VC 60 Hz. Targeting the sweet spot where affordability meets superb functionality, the TXNR609 looks set to be another Onkyo classic. This THX Select 2 Plus certified A-V receiver handles content from all your favorite disc-based media as well as networked and wireless audio content from the internet C iPod slash iPhonic and PC. 6 HDMI inputs including one on the front panel provide support for 3D video and ultra-high resolution 4K video upscaling via Marvel Video. HDMI also carries master quality audio formats from Dolby and DTSC as well as the expanded surround sound of Odyssey DSX and Dolby Pro Logic IAS. 3-stage inverted Darlington circuitry and Onkyo's proprietary RAT ensure a clean and compelling amplifier performance. And when audio signals are out pussy the 7.2 channel configuration includes twin subwoofer pre-outs for added bass impact. Meanwhile a user-friendly on-screen display and GUI make it easy to adjust settings and navigate your content. All this and more makes the TXNR609 an irresistible choice for the value-seeking home theater fan. With a THX certified Onkyo A-V receiver you know you're experiencing movie soundtracks the way they were recorded and produced to be heard. You're getting the power and nuance the director made for the Cinemac the very best sound quality available in your own home. This THX Select 2 Plus certification is specified for rooms where the screen to seat viewing distance is 10 to 12 feet and the room volume is around 2000 cubic feet. THX Loudness Plus is included in the specification. Streaming your choice of internet radio through your Onkyo A-V receiver gives you unsurpassed sound quality and access to a virtually infinite selection of world-class music. Enjoy your own personal concert from anywhere in the world, right in your own living room. All Onkyo network receivers are also compatible with Microsoft's Windows 7 platform which includes the DLNA 1.5 specified play to media streaming features so you can easily stream music store on PCs connected to your home network. This internet connectivity has the added benefit of making firmware updates simpler than ever. Onkyo's UWF1 wireless LAN adapter removes unwanted cables. This small optional unit is worth way more than its tiny price. Connect the UWF1 to the USB port on any compatible 2011 Onkyo network receiver can bring your music through your wireless router into your Onkyo system. Now internet radio and audio files stored on your PC can be played back with the superior fidelity of your main Onkyo system with no cable clutter. A sensible and inexpensive solution. 
Onkyo's remote apps for Android and iPod slash iPhone turn your cell phone into a remote control. The Android app lets you stream audio files from your Android to your Onkyo home network receiver. Set tonic volume levels and control input selection as well as a number of other key features like controlling internet radio stations The Onkyo app for iPhone slash iPod will allow you to set tonic volume levels and control input selection. Onkyo receivers allow you to and play audio files stored on your iPod slash iPhone or even a USB flash drive. The on-screen display lets you see exactly what is playing. As the audio signals are played back in digital form rather than analog there is much less chance for signal degradation. Onkyo's exclusive advanced music optimizer also compensates for lost bit information and improves the quality of compressed audio signals. End result, your music sounds cleaner and more faithful to the original. Onkyo's A-V receiver provides the finest, most beautiful and pristine 1080p upscaling you can find thanks to the Marvel Kdo video processing chip that erases video noise and artifacts such as jaggies and feathering. The result, astoundingly crisp video. Played back on a compatible widescreen display see your Blu-ray discs and standard DVDs will look amazing more detailed and cinematic than ever. While deftly handling the most current high-def display formats Gonkyo's also the first in the world to support the coming full 4K upscaling, 3840x2160, of standard video sources such as 480i-PC720PC and 1080i-P. Interlaced to progressive conversion and scaling are performed by a high-quality Marvel Kdo video processing chip. All Onkyo A-V receivers support the latest in 3D technology. Play 3D movie-esque game-esque and broadcast content in cinematic quality in your own home and be amazed by the realistic quality. The HDMI inputs let you connect multiple high-def sources such as a Blu-ray player, a gaming console and a cable-slash-satellite tuner. The HDMI output C on the other hand lets you send a pristine signal to a compatible high-resolution display. Audio return channel allows audio content received directly by your HDTV's tuner to be sent upstream via HDMI to your A-V receiver without the need for a separate S-PDIF audio cable. Allows reconfiguration of the surround back channels to deliver front height channels. These channels carry ambient C non-directional audio that adds a new vertical dimension to your movies and games. Odyssey DSX provides a similar front height speaker option that likewise works to create a more enveloping home theater experience. I upgraded from an old non-HDMI Yamaha HTR5850. I looked at the following. Onkyo TXSR608, Denon AVR1911, Pioneer VSX1020K, Pioneer VSX1021K, Yamaha RXV667, a few others, Onkyo HTRC360 is also a very similar one that merits comparison especially with the price. First impression, box was well packaged easy to connect right out of the box. I have a simple 5.1 set UPC but even the 7.2 seems easy enough. Plenty of space between things except the power cord seems to be in a slightly awkward location but definitely not a game changer or something to lose more than 5 minutes thought to. Plenty of ports, more on that below. Very nice and mostly intuitive GUI OSD. I am one of those guys who does not read the manual unless I have TOC and the only time I had to was knowing how to program in a radio station. 
remote is just okay. Could use a heavier feel to it and a better explanation of what things do. I got used to it or use my iPhone remote, more on that below too. Pros of this one, 6x HDMI in PUSC 1 in front C1 output. Network capable. I use Pandora a lot and it integrates nicely but it has many other internet music capabilities. Nice on screen display, OSD, of its GUI, graphical user interface. 4K support via Marvel Kdio, 3840x2160 resolution vs 1920x1080 See though most TVs do not support this yet. iPhone slash iPad control app, give it a SECC I have more to say on this below. All the standard HDMI 1.4 features, HDMI standby pass through C3DC audio return channel. Powered Zone 2 audio out. iPhone slash iPod connectivity right out of the box via your standard USB cable in the front, no need for an additional, more money, port though one is available, Onkyo up A1 dock for the iPod. PC VGA in but Relic most have HDMI out now anyway. Optional Onkyo Up HT1 HD Radio Tuner. Superb audio quality. Superb video up conversion. I took an old DVD and set the output to 480i, standard definition, and let the receiver up convert it. Then compared it to the output from my PS3 at 1080, as well as an old HD DVD player, LOL, and a standalone DVD player with 1080 up conversion and this receiver just blew it away. Note, on a 50INCH top of the line Sony TV. DLNA, for connecting to a home media system or a PC with music. THX certification, just for show for me and the cool factor as I could not tell much difference. Of course it does Dolby True HD and DT's HD Ma and all the other standard decoders. Ability to upgrade firmware via internet easily. Cons of this one, no built-in HD radio. No built-in airplay like some Denon and the Pioneer VSX 1021K. No video out for Zone 2. No PC control. A few things to note, the iPhone remote is a bit lacking. It does your basic things you expect it to, control the station in Pussy turn it on slash off change music from Pandora slash DLNA slash iPod connected slash etc C but the volume could use some work and the ability to control bass slash treble as big buttons instead of the volume is useless two things I wish this had the ability to vote for Pandora or any such interaction and the ability to fine-tune the audio levels of each speaker Connecting it is easy and it is pretty simple to use. Very nice bonus. When using the standby through C you can choose last used in Pussy a specific out Pussy or auto. If you change ITC it powers on. The auto option can be flaky sometimes switching to something that is off but it after turning the thing I want it to be off then back on it catches it. There is a cooling fan on the top but have yet to notice ITC even in the dead silence of a scary movie see even after having the receiver going for 5 to 6 hours straight for a few days in a row. Maybe it will later on. I am very pleased with this and would, and have already, recommend this as a purchase. BR Update June 20th, 11 added the Onkyo HTRC360 as a comparable option. One of the only major difference is the price and lack of THX. Should definitely be on people's radar. Thanks Joshua. A couple minor grammar things. 
Since having this for a couple months now I have to say I am still quite happy with this receiver. Here are a few updates, I barely notice the fan at all. Sometimes I will get up and check to see if it is even running, out of curiosity, and can see slash hear it when I am up close. It was mentioned that cleaning this may be an issue. Thanks MasterCard. HDMI standby pass through is not a problem. The auto works pretty well with only 3 or 4 times in the past couple months it has been finikick in which case I whip out my iPhone or the remote to change it. The iPhone app is quite basic but I like it. I can control Pandoric the input C and the volume ec which is all anyone really needs. On Android you can use a DLNA player such as 2 player and select this receiver as the target to stream music. Thanks George. Sound quality and video quality are still going strong slash well.